All right, joining me on the telecast uh, is a guest from Germany, uh, from the European Space Agency. On the telecast is Marcus Landgraf. He's the Moon FS team lead. He's the director of the Human and Space Exploration at the uh, European Space Agency. He's particularly joining me from Darmstadt in Germany. Now, Marcus, uh, it's a it's it's a momentous uh, landmark event that India is celebrating, but. Uh, uh, how is the world looking at India at this time? Of course, we are all very proud of India. And, and let me personally add my heartfelt congratulations to India for successfully landing on the moon, which is not an easy task. And uh, congratulations. That was brilliant. And uh, we're looking forward to working together, all nations of this planet, to explore the moon. Uh, the ESA was working in collaboration with ISRO in uh, monitoring the movement of the lander, of, of the spacecraft. Uh, if you could give me in de detail, when was this agreement signed, I think in 2021, and what were, the, uh, what were the details of this agreement, and what is it that ESA is then going to provide in terms of help to ISRO? Yeah, so this is a mutual agreement. Uh, India doesn't need uh, our help. Uh, it's just a support function from us. Um, we, uh, in Europe, we have what's called S-Track, that's a system of ground stations. You can imagine lots of uh, big uh, dish antennas uh, distributed all over the world, very similar to the NASA Deep Space Network. And uh, of course, these installations and facilities, it's, it's good to share them. So we are offering the capability of tracking the spacecraft, you know, keeping the communication link going, and actually vice versa. So when we have our European moon missions, then India will help us with their ground stations, with your ground stations, to support our missions. And that's, uh, that's how a partnership works. Okay, and, and uh, uh, you know, Marcus, if you could shed more light into what have been the challenges for uh, other space agencies in uh, landing their missions on the south pole of the moon. Why is it that it is so challenging and how has India been able to accomplish the task? It is a very um, challenging because the, all things have to work. The rocket has to work, the spacecraft has to work in, in the transfer to the moon and at the moon. It has to autonomously uh, make the right maneuvers right on time to land on the moon and then also avoid um, also avoid uh, hazardous terrain like, like steep craters. So all these things uh, to do them in a semi-autonomous way is, is definitely a technological uh, um, a challenge and uh, India has mastered that. Um, so we should not forget the launch vehicle here because the rocket is, is an important part of that story. And also the ground segment, right? You have these people in the operations room that are commanding the spacecraft. They have developed the algorithms. And uh, without that, it would not have not been a success. And, and having mastered that is, is a sign that every single chain, every single link in the chain has worked. And, and that shows the uh, technological uh, performance of India. Marcus, you know, just a few days ago, right before the Chandrayaan-3 mission was to be completed with the soft landing, uh, we saw the unfortunate incident of Luna 25 crashing into the moon. Now, uh, yeah. you know, then obviously apprehension was at its peak because uh, there you have it. Uh, uh, Russia has been at the forefront right from the very start at uh, sending its astronauts and cosmonauts and launching these missions and there you have this uh, this this uh, space bar that has failed to soft land on the south pole of the moon uh, and then in contrast there is a moon there is a moon mission chandrayaan 3 that not only soft lands but then assures that there is then going to be the lander that is now going to come out it is going to descend mm -hmm. it is uh, going to find out those crucial important discoveries that, that form into the composition of the moon. So, so again, a challenging position to be in, but we've been able to, uh, you know, overcome that challenge. Yes, uh, of course, I, I'm not in a position to comment too much on the Luna 25 situation because there's an ongoing investigation. We know a couple of things already, and uh, we are trying to learn from each other's mistakes, and, and that's what makes us stronger as a community. But let me say one thing, is it's, it is a great achievement, but don't forget there's more steps ahead of you, 
right? So in India, now with the soft landing, it's a great achievement, but what comes next? And, and I have some thoughts I would like to share. I mean, one of the things that India could do as a next step is to have a long-term mission that survives this very harsh environment of the lunar night. Um, and if, you, uh, if we can work uh, on that together uh, to achieve a mission that can operate on the moon not, not for a week or two, but for, say, two years, that would be a huge achievement of the partnership. You know, uh, there has always been this curiosity to know oh, what is on the moon's surface, what's on the South Pole, and whether there is habitation. Uh, in, 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 there's, there's, there is a propensity to habitate the the moon's surface. Now, uh, how close are we in being able to s perhaps successfully achieve that, uh, that feat as well? That's a good question and a very complicated question. I think uh, without the achievement of today, nothing would be possible, right? So, so you have mastered that level. Now, there's a couple of more steps to go, um, but this basic achievement will always be part of that. This soft landing is always going to be part of it. So uh, one of the key um, achievements, we, all of us, the USA, the Russia, China, we all have to achieve that, is to make rocket fuel on the moon based on the resources that are there. And that is something that is ahead of all of us, and um, we, are, we should work together to achieve that, to, to unlock the riches of the moon for all of mankind. That, that's going to be interesting if you are able to actually create r rocket fuel then I think a lot of your problems are going to be resolved because then allow, that allows you to extend your mission not just to like you said not just to a week or two but 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 to years together and that would allow for your exploration to then be, then be speedily covered up but also also then uh, uh, you know Marcus in, in terms of looking ahead obviously in uh, the world is looking at India and what is it that we are going to do next now we have our Gaganyaan mission which is going to be the first space manned mission uh, we uh, the Prime Minister today uh, went out and spoke about our Aditya uh, L1 mission which is going to explore uh, the sun uh, mm -hmm. How can more of these agreements and uh, contracts be built between like the ESA or the Artemis agreement that has already been uh, signed between India and America, uh, ISRO and NASA uh, to then collaborate and come together and cooperate to allow for this uh, uh, missions to then find more about the, you know, the, the, the secrets, the hidden secrets can be revealed because thus far I don't think we have come really close to finding what lies on the moon because if we have just landed on the south pole it perhaps might take us i don't know how many more decades to to know more about uh, the composition of the moon and thereby the composition of the earth and the solar system in in total mm -hmm. yeah i don't think it will take us decades it, in the next years will be very exciting for everybody i mean uh, our uh, u.s american partners will launch astronauts back to the moon uh, perhaps as early as 2025, which is in two years' time. Um, and we will be on this journey together. There is very much international coordination. We have, for example, the International Space Exploration Coordination Group. Uh, ISRO is, is member of this coordination group. In that frame, we're already exchanging very uh, intensively our successes, our lessons learned, our scientific data. And if the more we share, the, the stronger we are as, as, as one species, because then we can make use of the data that we have obtained to a maximum amount. And then I think uh, progress can be made very quickly if we work together. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.